Good morning. Um, hope you all slept well and are ready for a good workout. Uh, my name is Libby and I'm back in my garage. I'm alone today, but not really because I know you're there working out with me. See, there's Allison right there. I'm never truly alone. All right, so today, and Melissa Simonson, good morning, Melissa. I'm always so excited to see you ladies jump on. Um, so today, all you're gonna need is a jump rope if you have one, um, a dumbbell or a kettlebell, and both of these are actually op op optional, so I'm gonna be showing you um, a couple different versions of how you can do this workout today. Um, you're also gonna need, oh, let's see. No, I guess that's it. Just a uh, kettlebell or dumbbell, something like that, something to lift. Um, again, if you don't have any of those, you can just use um, something that has a handle, like detergent, laundry detergent or something. So when your laundry detergent empties, you can always go fill it with water or something. Um, but anyway, so one of those if you have them and your jump rope. Good morning, there's Lacey and I bet Skyly's with you too. I'm glad to see everyone on. All right, so get the equipment. We're going to be, um, we're not gonna use any of those in the warm up itself, but we're gonna need them um, going into our strength today. And I'm also gonna show you another version of the strength that we have. You're gonna be using dumbbells, optional again. Um, I'm gonna be using my bar. All right, so let's go. We're gonna do three rounds, and we're gonna start with just 30 high knees. So high knees, you're gonna bring one knee up, and then the other. Now, you can keep it so you're not having um, any jumping, keeping it low impact, or you can take it up and actually make it a little more dynamic. So you're gonna do 30 total. All right, so 15 on each side, let's go. Now butt kicks. You can put your hands on your bum and you're going to have your heel touch your hands. Now again, make it more dynamic. You're going to jump it. We're doing 30. All right. Now we're going to do 15 up downs or down ups. Um, kind of like that half burpee, you're stopping at a high plank. So hands down, you can jump or step your feet back, and then come up to a stand. Fifteen. All right, that's 15 for me. If you're still going, you can go ahead and stop. We're gonna do shoulder taps. You're gonna do 30, so 15 on each side. Coming okay, back down to that high plank. Widen your stance. And tap opposite hand to opposite shoulder. If you need to, come down and do it from your knees. Try to um, keep your hips from wiggling too much. Keep your core engaged. All right. <clears throat> Down back up, let's do it again. All right, going back to those high knees. This is actually one of the movements for our variation in the wad um, that you can do. Um, instead of, if you, again, if you don't have weight, if you don't have equipment, this will be one of your movements. So high knees. So keep your hands stationary. 
Get your knees to your hands. And butt kickers. This is another one of the movements. Try to get your heels to actually kick your butt. That's why they're called butt kickers. All right, up downs. 15. You can step it back, step it up. Come back down to that plank. Give me 30 more shoulder taps. And if shoulder taps is even too much, you can do wrist taps side to side. Widen the stance. All right, let's do that once more. Our warm-up's a little bit longer today, but the workout itself is a little bit shorter. It's like 12 minutes total. All right, so go back into those high knees. And butt kickers. Good job. All right, three rounds done. I'm warmed up. How are you sweating? Breathing hard. All right, so we're gonna take it to our strength portion. So for this, you're gonna need, um, I guess on a piece of equipment, a chair. And again, it's kind of optional. We're gonna be doing some glute bridges, but we're gonna kind of convert those to hip thrusts. Essentially, it's doing a glute bridge from the edge of a chair. You're resting your upper back 
on an elevated surface. It just gives you more range of motion for your hips. All right, so if you have a bench, a box, a chair, something to get the hips up, go ahead and grab it right now. We've got time. You're also gonna use a weight, optional. You can do this without weight, just do regular glute bridges. Okay, so for our first round, I'm just gonna show you some, some glute bridges um, that you can do. And we're gonna be doing three sets if you're going to stay with glute bridges, you're just going to change the position of your feet like we do in Inferno. First set, your feet are going to be forward. Second set, your feet are wide, toes slightly turned out. Third set, your feet are together, toes together, heels out. Again, knees make contact through this particular set. Don't let your knees separate. This way we're working our inner thighs. The one where your legs are out wide, knees, don't let them cave in keep them actively wide, then we're targeting our outer glutes a little more aggressively. Um, also, if you have a band, you can also use a band um, on the first two movements and create a little more resistance, a little more deeper burn into that glute muscle. Um, otherwise, we're gonna be doing three sets. You're gonna get 30 seconds rest in between each set. You're gonna do a one minute or a 60 second max effort. So if you have to stop and take a little break, that's okay. Take it, get back in, you have a whole 60 seconds to get as many reps in as you can. If you're using a dumbbell, you can just either stay on the floor here, placing the dumbbell on your pelvis, same thing as you're lifting, or you can do what I'm gonna show you right here on the bench. And you can do it with a dumbbell, you can do it with the bar, like I'm going to. Question is, is my bench gonna stay put? So essentially, you're getting your back, your upper back, on the edge of an elevated surface. And not using any equipment right now, I'm just getting my hips down and up. Down and up, thrusting up, so I look like a tabletop when I'm at the top. So again, it's about using those glutes, squeezing them hard at the top, getting that full range of motion. You can take a dumbbell, place it over your pelvis again, lifting the dumbbell. I'm gonna be using my weight. You'll see me do it. My first round, I'm just gonna do it um, with some lighter weight, increasing the weight each round. So let me get my timer set. So we're all doing 60 seconds. Grab my bar. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do my bar. Make sure my weights are all good. Normally I would use clips, but I forgot to put them on, so bad me. All right, so go ahead and I'm gonna lift in position, get my bar set. 60 seconds, and let's go. How many can you get in? Again, ankles lined under the knees. Pause at the top. Give me an extra little squeeze. You got about 30 more seconds. seconds. In three, two, one. Come on down. Nice job. So either this next round you're staying with your glute bridge. Knees are out. Oh, probably 20 seconds rest. We're going to go again. Or you're adding a little weight to it. Putting the weight over your pelvis. 
either on the floor or you're up on the bench. All right, we're gonna squeeze. In three, two, one, let's go. Start with 60 seconds. If you're doing this with a bar, or even a dumbbell, you might want to put a little bit of padding, um, a rolled up towel, or something underneath the bar where it's on your pelvis. All right, you're over halfway. Squeeze at the top before you come down. All right, 10 seconds. In three, two, one, and down. Oh, oh I'm feeling that. I'm only using about 65 pounds right now. But since we're doing a lot of reps, not much rest, I've decided not to go heavier. This feels plenty heavy enough. But if you want to go heavier on those dumbbells, go for it. All right, last set. In three, two, one. You got it. job. Go ahead and put your weight off to the side. This is going to be again optional for this next part um, to have weights in it or not. It can completely be done without any equipment at all. Um, if you have a jump rope, feel free to use it. Even kind of mix match the wads. Maybe you use a jump rope but you don't use the weight. So, um, just have fun with it. Kind of create your own thing. It's like a buffet today. <laughs> All right, let me move my stuff out of the way. Get a drink of water. If you're doing double unders, Actually, no matter what, you probably want to have a little bathroom break. We are going to be doing jumping of some sort. Unless you're modifying, unless you're going to modify and just make it all low impact, which that's totally fine. All right, let me walk you over to the board, show you what goodies we have in store for you today. All right, and Aaron's joined us. Good morning, Aaron. All right, we just took care of the strength portion. All right, so we are gonna be doing A or B. A, you need some equipment. You're gonna need either a dumbbell or a kettlebell or, and a jump rope. Um, B, nothing, you don't need any equipment. So if you're doing A, we're gonna be doing 90 seconds. You're gonna do as many rounds as possible of 32 double unders or 64 single unders 16 kettlebell hang cleans, I'll show you that in a minute, and eight burpees. You're gonna do as many rounds of that as you can in 90 seconds. 
We're gonna do three rounds of that. You get 30 seconds rest in between those three, those 90 second AMRAPs. So you're gonna go 90 seconds, rest 30 seconds. Go 90 seconds, rest 30 seconds. And again, 90 seconds and rest 30 seconds. Then you're gonna jump into the bottom portion. See that pink line dividing the top from the bottom? You're gonna do the same thing, only this time, you're still doing 32 double unders. What has changed is that middle, um, that middle movement. We're now doing hang kettlebell snatches instead of cleans. Again, we'll go over both of these movements. Um, you can do it with a dumbbell or a kettlebell, followed by eight burpees. Again, as many rounds as you can within 90 seconds of those three movements, then you get a 30 second rest. You repeat that same thing twice more. Okay, jump over to side B. This is no equipment. So what we did in the warm up, those high knees, you're gonna do 32 of them in place of, if you don't have a, a jump rope, in place of those double unders. Or, this is where I said you can mix match. You can do your double unders or 64 single unders right here instead of the high knees. Then if you don't have weights or you don't wanna use weights, just do 16 air squats. Okay, those are just our normal standard squats. And then eight burpees, um, again, as many times through as you can in 90 seconds with a 30 second rest at the end. Repeat that three times. Then you're gonna jump down to the line below. And all we're gonna do um, is again, if you are using a jump rope, you'll continue doing double unders or sing so single unders right here where it says 32. What would change for you would be the jumping lunges instead of air squats. Now you've got jumping lunges or just alternating reverse lunges. So again, you can keep a low impact. Um, and then followed by eight burpees. Same thing, 90 seconds of work, as many times as you can, with 30 seconds rest, three rounds. So I did the math with it, and I think it came out to about 12 minutes total, because we're gonna go straight from the first, the first section to the second section. Because you have that 30 second rest um, after your last set of your, your top um, section. So we're gonna go right into it. Um, so let me quickly show you if you are using a dumbbell. Um, let's see. All right, so if you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Oh, let's see. Let me get my kettlebell out. I've, used, I've done a kettlebell snatch in a long time. Let me grab a lighter one just in case. And I'll get a dumbbell. All right, so we know the double unders, we know the burpees. Again, you can always modify the burpee to do in a, an up down or a high plank burpee, same thing. Um, the kettlebell or dumbbell hang cleans. I'll show you with the dumbbell first because that's normally what you all have at home where you have it accessible. So it's going to be one arm, so you have eight on one side and then eight on the other. Your feet are going to be about um, hip width, no more than shoulder width apart. You're going to come down, keeping that chest lifted so back stays nice and flat. You're thrusting the hips back and you're going to pop your hips forward, coming up onto the tiptoes, and you're going to get that kettlebell or the dumbbell up on the shoulder and stand right here. So you can do eight on one side, and then eight on the other side. So you're not going below the knee. The kettlebell the dumbbell is staying above that knee. So you're using a lot of hip drive to pop this up. This should be where the main power from this movement is coming from, from the hips, from squeezing the glutes and fully extending the hips. So if you're doing it with a kettlebell, Again, hands don't come below the knee. You're gonna have to do a little bit of a swivel and you're holding the kettlebell in, we call like the groove, the pocket of the arm right here. So your arm is kind of diagonal, chin, hand under the chin. So good. Almost a little bit, what's sweaty, like a kettlebell swing, All right? So that's gonna be, if you're doing weights, the hang, 
power plane. Now in the second round, that's the movement that's going to change. We're doing the hang snatch. All right, so using the dumbbell, again, you're not going below the knees. It's staying above the knees. So bend, push the hips back, chest stays lifted right here. You're dragging it up overhead. Eight on each side. So if you're using the kettlebell, again, you need a little bit of a swivel because of how, the, how you're holding the bar. Um, so here, then you're going to swivel around, press it out. So the hand faces forward, the kettlebell is now behind my hand. Right here. All right, so those are the two movements if you are doing this with me. So just think, using your dumbbell, getting it up onto the shoulder, and then you're just gonna get it up overhead for the second round. All right, um, so grab your equipment, whatever you're using, and just a quick review. If you're not using equipment, using high knees first, then you're going to do air squats, right? Here, get that full range of motion. Make sure the hip crease gets beneath the knees. And then lastly, you've got burpees, eight of them. So 32, 16, eight. So you're dividing the number in half each time. All right. And all you're gonna do is switch out the air squats. And the last one for jumping lunges or just reverse lunges. So this is a jumping lunge right here. Or again, you're just gonna step back, reverse. All right, if you need to write this down somewhere, Write it down. I think I'm actually gonna do the lighter dumbbell today, or kettlebell. Um, if you're doing unilateral work, it's a little more challenging than actually using a bar or something, because each side is a little bit different. One side is gonna be stronger and more stable than the other. So cater to your weaker side. I have a shoulder that's got a lot of arthritic kind of feeling in it right now. So I'm not gonna go heavy on that right shoulder. I'm gonna have both shoulders with a little bit lighter weight today. And I am going to use a 26 pound, sorry, 25 pound kettlebell. Um, so do what feels good for you. Again, you don't have to use any equipment. All right, let's get set. Let me get my clock on and my music on. Get your music if you're ready. Now this is one definitely beneficial to have an app. That one app I was showing you earlier, Trifecta, um, because you can program it to tell you when the 90 seconds is up, when your 30 seconds is in play, when that's over. So it tells you when to go, when to stop, or just having to look at your clock all the time, saying, okay, there's been 90 seconds, now it's 30 seconds, and now when do I stop again? It's, it's a lot of math, and when you're tired, your mind doesn't do math well. <laughs> At least mine doesn't. So um, again, it's a good one to download that Trifecta app. It's free and I can show you how to use it. It's super, super simple, very user friendly. But um, let's see. Okay, so I have on here, we're gonna do six rounds and you're gonna do a, a minute 30 of work. Again, as many times as you can. And then 30 seconds of rest, we're doing that six rounds. All right, so everybody starting with either your jump rope or your high knees. Let me put this where I can see it. Get my music playing. Sorry, I'm off to the side. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you all a countdown. Have your jump ropes ready, if that's what you're using. All right, 10 seconds, counting down. In three, two, one, let's go.
Right into the hang cleans. Eight on each side. Off so I don't break it. All right, then you got your eight burpees. Chest to floor or high plank. minute and a half. Help to watch that. Start where you left off. So don't start from the beginning. All right, 10 seconds. Two, one, go. Five seconds. Six seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Now this minute and a half goes fast. You should not be resting in that minute and a half. Go hard, go fast. All right, start again where you just left off. Push it, push it. All right, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Fifteen. And 
to rest. All right. The only thing you're changing out is that middle movement. If you're doing what I'm doing, you're going to be doing the snatch overhead. Otherwise, reverse jump lunges. And if you're doing high knees, you do butt kicks. All right, three more rounds. In 10 seconds, we're going. Start off where you left, health off. And go. Got 30 seconds. Five seconds. And rest. Nice job. Two more rounds. Push it hard because you got rest. Okay, continue where you left off. Going in 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. All right, 30 seconds. set of 90 seconds. Start where you left off. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. Sorry. 
All right, 45 seconds. Nice job. I like ones like this, that rep schemes are short, so you can push it without stopping, and the time is fairly short, plus you're getting rest. So it allows you to do some interval training where you're working, working hard, pushing it, then resting just a little bit, but not too much, to allow you to push hard again. So it keeps that heart rate elevated, getting just enough rest to allow you to stay at that high level. All right, nice job. Um, so it's been about 45 minutes. Um, take some time to stretch, rest a little bit, bring your heart rate down, and um, I'm gonna be in here if you want. You're welcome to stay with me and stretch with me. I'll probably stretch for another 10 or so minutes. Otherwise, go stretch on your own, get some water, and have a great day. But if not, you can stay here with me. So we really worked the glutes out today. So I wanna stretch the glutes and the hips. So I'm gonna start off with a pigeon stretch. We're gonna hold it for one minute on each side. So you're gonna put, start with our right leg. Right leg forward. Now ideally, if you're flexible enough, this leg here should be um, straight across from the ankle to the knee. I can't do that, so I have to pull my heel a little bit closer to my, my hips. But what's really important is how you're positioning. You want your hips square to the floor. So I don't wanna open so I'm this way. Completely square. Now if you need to, Put a block, put a weight, put something up underneath you so your hips are lifted a little more. But back leg, stay straight, point those toes all in one line, square your hips straight to the floor, get those elbows onto the floor. You're gonna stretch out the right hip, right glute. Now, if your left leg is engaged, squeeze that left glute, drop the hip closer to the floor, you're gonna stretch out this hip flexor. So you gotta get a two, four, one in this deal. All right, if this feels good, go ahead and walk your hand out a little bit further, chest to floor, and we're gonna hold here for a minute. And let's go. It takes generally about two minutes in a position to really let the muscle loosen up. So if you want to, feel free to stay here for longer. Again, square the hips, right leg up, left glute is squeezed. Two for one action. In three, two, one, walk your hands back up. I think that's technically, let's switch sides. We did hold that for about a minute and a half. Just not down that full position until we got had a minute there. So again, reset yourself, get that left leg up as high as you can, square your hips, straighten that, that right leg, left knee up, 
and we're going to hold. Come up on the elbows. We'll hold here for 30 seconds and then we'll walk the arms out. Again, feeling this in that left hip and glute. Also feel it in the right hip flexor if you're squeezing that glute. Squeeze the hips to the floor. All right, in about 10 more seconds, we're going to walk your hands out away from you. And walk them on out. Putting pressure on that left leg. All right, we got 15 seconds. <clears throat> In three, two, one, come on up. Good. Go ahead and stretch our inner thighs. Go ahead and come, get your feet together. And around in the back too. So get your heels close to your, your pelvis. Grab your fingers around your toes. Lift your chest and pull yourself in towards your feet. So try not to let your back round too much, at least not yet. Right now, keep your chest lifted. If you can, which is hard for me to do, your knees may come out and put more elbows, more pressure on your knees. I prefer to stay here and drive my knees to the ground with just my own strength. You can even have someone come and press down on your knees if you're with a partner. But chest is still up. I really put this in my inner thighs, my adductors. Pull yourself in, you get a deeper stretch here. All right, now push your feet out a little bit further from you. And now you're going to round your back and try to get your forehead to your toes, rounding your back. Again, you can press your knees out. My back does not curve very much, I've discovered in years of yoga. <laughs> it's like I have a straight rod in it. your legs, grab your toes, and if you can, try to get, to stretch out those hamstrings, try to get your elbows as close to the ground as you can. Some days I can get it, some days I can't, but really pull on your toes. Lift your, if you lift your chest, you're going to feel a bigger stretch in your calves. So think about pushing your hips back. Oh, come on up. Shake out the legs. Good. Cross your arms. I love starting my day off with exercising. I feel if I don't get anything else done, at least that is one of my priorities and one of my biggest checks got done for the day. Otherwise, I just feel awful and sluggish. And yesterday, I took the day off. Day before, on Wednesday, when I don't have, no, I guess it was Tuesday, um, I took my kids hiking, so I didn't have class in Inferno. And then I went back and ran what we have walked for. So I probably went a total of around seven miles with everything together. Um, 
So anyways, on, hey, did you finish it? <laughs> anyways, on Wednesday, yesterday, was my oldest daughter's birthday. And she turned 21, and she said that she wanted what she wanted for her dinner, birthday dinner, what she wanted for her cake. And I tell you, she does not want healthy stuff. Uh, we still have like half of the leftover cake. I made a homemade um, chocolate-based strawberry cheesecake, ice, strawberry ice cream cheesecake, which had, um, again, chocolate on the base, and then it had cheesecake ice cream, and then I had actually, I bought cheesecake and crumbled up cheesecake that's all over it. So it was really, really good. But I think I'm gonna have to go do something else today too to, to fight the battle on that one. But anyways, <laughs> we, all, we all have our, our moments. But um, so anyways, thank you for making me come work out here and work off that cake. And um, Lacey, have a fun vacation. Allison, if you're gone, I hope your vacation's going well also. And, um, Aaron and Melissa, always a joy to have you in class. And anyone else that chooses to join us afterwards, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully this, this class um, gave you a little bit of what you needed. And um, I love you guys. Thanks for, I love you too, Lace. Thanks for um, always keeping me honest in here. So y'all take care, have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow in Inferno. All right, bye guys.